Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today is wash day and as you can see, my hair is in an old wash and go. So I am going to wash it and I'm kind of excited because I got in my melanin hair care. In the box came the Twist Elongating Style Cream. So I'll be using it for my wash and go today. And then I also got the uh, multi-use pure oil blend and um, you guys know that I don't do a whole lot of oil on my hair but because the products go together I figured I'll go ahead and get both products and try to use it together and see it's supposed to be very light and not feel greasy on your hair so we'll see I'll be letting you know if that is the case as well so with no further ado I'm going to go and shampoo my hair um, off camera and put my leave-in in and then I'll be back and so you guys can see me apply the products and I am going to uh, put a gel on top of this just to make sure that it lasts. So I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've washed my hair and um, put my leave-in in and I'm ready to style. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Melanin Twist Elongating Style Cream and it's with shea butter and natural oils. It says it's long lasting um, definition. There's no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no uh, formaldehydes, and no phthalates. So it looks like this. I'm going to add it to the first section and then I will add the oil, which says it's a multi-use pure oil blend. And featured oils in it is boabab oil, argan oil, and vitamin E. There's a lot of other oils in it too, but those are the featured oils that's in it. And it says a little goes a long way. You can use it as a sealant. Um, you can massage it. You can do it as a hot oil treatment. Pretty much however you would use an oil, you can use this oil that way. Um, and then I'm going to top it off with my Eco Styler Pink. Let's get started. And you guys know how I feel about doing my wash and goes out of the shower. And so that's why I have this on, trying to keep some moisture in my hair uh, because it is low porosity and my cuticles do close very easily. So first off, I will say that the jar is not completely full. I know a lot of the other people were saying it was filled to the brim, but as you can see, there's a big old um, side missing. It doesn't have much of a smell, um, mainly shea butter smell, um, but better to me. So. Um, and it says use as little as much as needed, massage into wet or dry hair one section at a time and then style as desired. You can use with, with your favorite leave-in conditioner. So I did put a leave-in in because I wasn't sure. So this is how that came. And then let me go ahead and take the top off of this. Man, this mug is on here tight. So the oil smells earthy to me. Kind of smells like a tea tree oil in a way. And let me see. I don't really see tea tree oil in here, but I do see geranium or sage oil. So it has a an earthy mm, smell to it to me. It's not like fruity or anything like that. It's more like menthol-y. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't linger. So I'm going to start in the back like I always do and I'm just going to leave this on these sections. I'm going to try that and see how that works. And we're going to go one section at a time. So as you can see, there is some leaving in my hair. Um, and this is what it looks like with just leaving in on it. I'm gonna start in the back with a small section. I'm gonna take just a little bit. Well, I'm just gonna put a drop of 
pull it in. Let's fill it in. I don't really feel it being very moisturized at first application, like people say it, but we'll see. I'm gonna take a little bit of gel. And it's not going real well. Hmm. I might have to change gels. Let me try to just rub it in my hands. just feels like it's not <clears throat> soaking into my hair and it may not be the product's fault it could be because I've been out of the shower for a minute and it could be not doing well because of this oil so if this curdles I'm going to try a section without the oil and see if it does better because again my hair is not one that likes a lot of oil It's not looking good. Okay, I'm not liking that. So let me try some without the oil. This is the cream. Let me go in with some gel. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, cause this is not gonna work and I'm not gonna go through my whole head knowing that it's gonna be white and flaky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and rinse this out of my hair and then I'm gonna try it with a different gel and just see, cause maybe it's just, this gel is too thick. this off and look at it so this is the side with just oil and gel I'm almost done. and this is the side with oil melanin and the gel And you can already see that. Okay, guys, I am back. I'm under the dryer, and this is what my hair is looking like. So, as you can see, there is some definition on the ends, um, but up here it's pretty frizzy. Uh, my hair is about 90% dry. It's not all the way dry in the roots, but it is dry on the outside, enough for me to be able to tell how it's going to look. So, this is pretty much how it's going to look, even when that inside part is dry so uh, so this is the side 
Then on this side, you see, I got a little bit more definition. It still is a little bit frizzy up here, but it's clumped together um, a lot more than this, as you can see. So there is some difference. As you can see under here, there is a lot more definition on this side with using just the oil and the gel without the cream. So there is something about this cream that um, did not work well with my hair this time. So what I am going to do, I'm not going to give up on it because I know my hair is low porosity and I know thick products um, sometimes takes um, a lot to soak into my hair. So with that being said, I am going to try a wash and go again with these products. Okay. I want to give it a fair shake, so I'm going to try wash and go again, but I'm going to do my regular routine, which is wash and condition, deep condition my hair. I'm going to apply my leave-in in the shower. I'm going to apply my cream in the shower. Um, I don't think that I'm going to use the oil because, again, oils just, I can take them or leave them. So I'm gonna apply the cream in the shower and then I will apply my styler outside of the shower. That way my cuticles remain open. I'm giving them this the best opportunity to soak into my hair and give me the moisture that I need for my hair. So I'm gonna do that and see how that turns out. And, um, and then I'll still use it in a twist out or braid out as well. I'm gonna try it that way as well because I wanna do as much as I can to see. Sometimes products don't work the first time you use them and you have to try to tweak some things. So that's what I'm gonna do. But this is how it looks. I will say that my hair is soft on both sides. It feels a tad bit moisturized on this side and it's probably due to the melanin um, cream. Just a tad bit. Both sides are soft. Both sides feel moisturized, but this one may be just a little bit more moisturized um, and it is shrunken up just a little bit more too. So um, so that's that. What I'm going to do, let me just try to fluff it just a little bit. Set some bangs. You can just use bobby pins to kind of manipulate your hair and make it look like you want it to. But so maybe I'll go with bangs today. And so this is my hair, um, part one of the melanin hair care. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, this is the initial um, thought and reaction, but I am going to try it again using my regular technique for a wash and go instead of trying to do it outside the shower and see if I get any different results. So stay tuned for part two. Please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell so you'll be notified of my next upload. And until next time, thanks for watching.